again, to me, the program makes perfect logical sense. But again, as somebody who saw the nuttiness pre-crash and unfortunately the aftermath, this feels like a lottery ticket. Why shouldn't I just YOLO and just give it a shot? Because I got no skin in the game. Worst thing, I just jingle mail and strategic default at the end of this, um, which a lot of people did. Right. But again, I think it goes back to people were put into loans that, that they actually could not um, afford. Oh, I, 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 let's just say what I, let's just say what you and I know that the audience may not. Back in the day in 06, if there was the loan that were most toxic to me were these NAGAM teaser loans, right? Where for two years of the loan, the interest rate was 1.9 percent. Yep. And then at the 25th payment, it jumped to 9.9 percent. That is an yeah. unaffordable loan. The problem was back in the day, you underwrote completely legal to 1.9. So a lot more people qualify at 1.9 than 9.9. This was what caused the cascading effect. Not today. This is it a 30-year product. It was even worse than that. Because it was, you had, worse than that. it was worse than that back then. You had liar loans. Oh, I know. Oh, my income God. loans. Or you had loans that were called... Um, no income, no assets. You didn't remember. Have, all you had to do was have a credit score. Yeah. That fit. It was the program, bad. It, and that was it. Yeah. So again, these oh. loans, I want you to make me feel better. These loans are being, this loan today would be underwritten based on the 80% first, I'm guessing. That's correct. Because again, the second silent, no payments. But you have to, you have to prove you, you can afford okay. the, the payments. So you got to, we were looking, we're going to look at um, fully yeah. documented income. Makes perfect uh, sense. Uh, it's a great loan. Tax returns. Yeah.